Avenger. We're going now. Seven years of hard work, trial, error, and hope led to this moment. <laughs> At 5.34 a.m. on August 15th, Space Concordia's Star Sailor rocket took flight. A big part of me wasn't expecting it to go. You know, a big part of me was expecting, like, there has to be something going wrong. It's going too smoothly. The rocket blasted off from a base camp about 250 kilometers north of Mysticini in northern Quebec. It was a partnership between the Space Concordia Rocketry Division and the local Cree community. The goal was for Star Sailor to reach space, making it Canada's first space launch in over 25 years. Now, to do that, the rocket had to cross the Karman line, the boundary separating Earth's atmosphere from outer space at an altitude of about 100 kilometers. But before the rocket reached that point, there was a problem, and it separated too early. The place at which it failed was the Nosecon separation point. We programmed it to happen at around 110, 120 kilometers. So, like, once it's in space, really the nose cone would split off, it would let go. But uh, the flight forces just too much for it. The working theory is that this was a structural weakness, one that can be corrected. Crews have recovered Star Sailor's flight computer, and work is underway to recover even more of the rocket. We got back a good, like, half of the rocket, and the best part is, like, we learned exactly what went wrong. Kalimanov says with the right funding, the team can be back at the launch pad in about a year, ready for another countdown toward the heavens. 